A spotlight on an Outer Banks educator who's helping kids in northeastern North Carolina get ready for the prom. From gowns to shoes to jewelry at no charge. So I drove down to Mantio and surprised her with an Everyday Hero Award. Mantio Faith Baptist Church, at least a part of it, transformed into what looks like a boutique filled with high school students and parents. This is pretty amazing. Yeah. Mom and daughter agree. It's amazing. I don't have to worry about driving all the way to Virginia. There's so many options, and I don't have to worry about pricing. I actually heard about it yesterday, and I told her last night, I was like, we gotta go, so here we are. Looking for the perfect prom gown. What do you think? And shoes, all free. Is this the winner right this here? This is the one. Yeah. How many did you try on? Uh, around six. Have you done the math? Like, if you went to, like, a department store or the mall or whatever. Dresses what? are three to four hundred dollars for a decent dress at a mall. Yeah. Shoes, on the other hand, are just as expensive. It's all made possible by the group Project Glam Girls. Quinn Caps, a long-term substitute teacher at Manteo High, is the founder. Why did you first start it? I was one of these girls. I didn't have a whole lot of money, you know. Um... And I remember feeling like that. And if something needed altering, a seamstress was on hand to take care of that at no charge. And even though it's called Project Glam Girl, there were clothes for the guys, too. All right, and look natural. And what does it mean that you can look good for free? I can become the new Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> But I just like to dress to impress and have a little bit more confidence when speaking to others. Now, the place where they're doing this is normally a preschool. So what that meant was they had to clear all of the daycare toys and fixtures out of here, bring all of these gowns down that are stored up in the church attic, and turn this area into a boutique, a store, in about a week's time. Since this is the third day of this event, in a few hours, they've got to clear all this stuff out of here, bring all of the preschool fixtures back in here, and turn this back into a church daycare. This year, my kids at Manio High School, like, they all need community service hours. Um, they have just come in, and, like, they've gotten this set up. She also credits what she calls her Glam Squad, a team of volunteers to help pull this off. So we are here to, of course tell this wonderful story but we are also here to present Quinn oh. with an everyday hero award for what she is doing here Absolutely. all right we have a community partner Southern Bank and Southern Bank wants to give Quinn a $300 visa gift card what do you think she's doing with that gift card Probably buying more, buying more inventory yes. for the girls and guys. That's wonderful. I so loved that story. Just the energy and just the faces on those teenagers and the parents, too. They're yes. like, some of those gowns had still had the original price tags on them. Four or five hundred yeah. dollars? Yes. Oh, my God. So she's like saying, look, you know, they need more donations. Mm -hmm. They need monetary donations. You can go to... The link in my story on WTGear.com to find out how you can contact her. Because nice. ideally what she wants is to have a storefront donated her. Because it's like year-round, yeah, these baby. kids have other events that they want to go to. And she wants to help them out. Good for you, Quinn. Congratulations. Oh, yes. If you know of someone doing the right thing in our community, nominate them for an Everyday Hero Award at WTKR.com.